Welcome to the LMS platform introduced by Krishnakanta Hendik State Open University. Today we will discuss the unit 2 of the paper Sociology and Introduction which is meant for the ME first semester. In the previous video we have discussed how sociology as a discipline emerged and today we will discuss some of the basic concepts uh, like society, social group, social organization, association, institution, culture, value, norms, status and role. After going through the unit 2, you will be able to understand these basic concepts in sociology. So first let us try to understand what is society. Society is a web of social interrelations. It is an abstract entity and it is a sum total of different social groups. Now let us try to understand what is a social group. When two or more individuals come together to achieve some common goals and sustain their relationship, then we call it a social group. For example, a newly married couple is an example of the smallest social group. They have common social, economic, biological uh, needs that they try to achieve together. Social groups can be broadly divided into two types. One is primary social group and another is secondary social group. In primary social group, we share an intimate relationship with the members. The number of members in such group is generally less. The rules and regulations are sustained and transferred orally. For example, in our family, in our peer groups too, we are required to follow some rules and its members have uh, some responsibilities but those rules and re regulations are not written down they are passed to us orally in a secondary social group people share an impersonal relationship generally the number of members are high and the rules and regulations are explicitly defined and are in written form for example if we join a dance club we may not know most of the members of uh, that group and therefore, we might not share all the aspects of our personal life with them. But all the members are required to follow certain common rules and regulations and all the members have joined the club for some common goals. Now let us try to understand what is a social organization. A social organization is also a form of social group. It comprises of a unit of people that is constructed and administered to pursue some collective goals. A formal social organization is characterized by presence of a bureaucracy for the effective coordination of activities to attain the desired goal. And university is an example of a social organization whose aim is dissemination of education. To achieve this goal, the universities resort to a bureaucratic structure where the authority, status, roles and responsibilities are clearly defined. Similarly, a bank is an economic social organization with a goal to collect deposits and lend those deposits for investments. There too we observe a bureaucratic structure that ensures proper coordination of activities. Informal social organizations to function to attain certain goals to achieve and they are required to follow certain norms. But members in the informal social organizations share an intimate relation with one another and it does not have a bureaucratic structure. For example, family is an example of uh, informal social organization. Now let us try to understand what is an association. It is a group formed to protect the collective interest or raise the common concerns of the members. On the basis of the interest, associations vary. The role of the leader is very important in an association. For example, the teachers association, students association, trade unions, farmers association, etc. Many times we have seen that different associations are protesting or raising their collective issues in front of the collective authority. It is a voluntary group. For example, a person may be a farmer, but he or she might not be a member of any farmer's association. Now, let us try to understand what is an institution. It is a set or body of rules that deals with the major social interest. For example, procreation is one of the major social interests to retain human society. But in order to meet that interest, a set of rules in the form of marriage has been formulated in every society. 
Similarly, religion as an institution or a set of rules that tries to fulfill the social interest for pattern maintenance of a society. A university can also be termed as an institution because it is a set of rules to fulfill the social interest to educate its younger generation. When we focus on the bureaucratic structure of a social group, we are focusing on the organizational feature and we, when we are viewing it as a body of rules to attain a social interest, then we are focusing on the institutional feature of a social group. Another basic concept in sociology is culture. And culture is that complex whole that consists of anything and everything that an individual learns as a member of society, be it brushing the teeth in the morning or greeting in a particular way, even the techniques and weapons invented to protect themselves form a part of culture. Culture can be broadly divided into two parts, material culture or Material culture is also known as civilization. It consists of the tangible aspects of society like the bed, the fork, the building, technology, etc. And the non-material culture. It consists of the tangible aspects of a culture like ideas, norms, rules, language, poems, values, signs, etc. A very important concept associated with culture is cultural lag. This concept has been forwarded by W.F. Ogburn. It indicates the fact that material aspects of a culture progresses faster than the non-material aspects of a culture. For example, a nation may be technologically very advanced, but its social life may still be following um, outdated and discriminatory norms. Another important concept in sociology is value. It is generally the idea of what is right and wrong that a society adheres to. Every society has different ideas regarding what is right and what is wrong. Therefore, the value system of different societies vary. In some societies, spending more can be a virtue and in some society, saving is a virtue. Some society may believe uncovering the body is wrong, but some society may not think so. So the values of a society determines the norms in that society. Now what are norms? Since every society has an idea about what is right and what is wrong, it formulates certain guidelines so that the individual's behavior can be molded accordingly or in the desired way. If an individual does not follow the guidelines, they may have to face sanctions or punishment. Some punishments can be mild, others can be stricter. Let us try to discuss another important concept that is status. Status is a social position or socially defined location which an individual occupies in society. The social position determines the individual's interaction with others. The status that a person achieves as a result of his or her birth is known as ascribed status. For example, when a person is born into upper class family, automatically he or she attains the social position of being a member of upper class. The status that a person achieves as a result of his or her hard work is known as achieved status. Therefore, one single person may have uh, a different social position at a particular point of time, which is known as status set. For example, a person may be bo born into a low class family, may be a middle-aged person, may be working as a scientist and also may be mother of two children. And there can be many other positions. Now finally, let us discuss what is role. We have now come to know that society accords certain social position to every individual. And every social position is associated with a particular role. Every individual is expected to uh, fulfill those roles. As a single person may hold many social position, similarly a single person is required to perform many roles at the same time. For example, a person uh, has certain role to play as a son, uh, as father, employee of a particular organization, member of a particular community or association, etc. Sometimes while playing one role, a person may face conflict with the other roles. This is known as role conflict. Uh, so in today's video, we have discussed some of the basic concepts in sociology. 
we have seen that certain concepts like a uh, social organization association and institution has a thin line of demarcation and identifying those differences are necessary so if a question is asked to analyze a social group from an organizational point of view we must know which features to focus on again if it is asked to analyze from an institutional or associational point of view we must recognize which features to focus on so today we'll conclude our discussion on this unit here thank you Thank you.